Finally, after all those years and all those posts on the feedback forum, Rollabus has finally listened to us and they may have saved fishing. Welcome back to the channel all about life scaling. My name is Teddy and today I'm going to be showing you the new fish tank that just came out, the Creos fish tank. This fish tank will add more to your fishing, increasing the money that you can make and makes the game more AFK. So if you guys enjoy Black Desert content and want to see more of it, be sure to check out my channel. Like, subscribe, turn on all those notifications, everything that I'm required to tell you. And without wasting any more time, let's just jump into the new fish tank that Perlobus added to Black Desert. Introduced August 29th, 2024, we can now purchase the new Creo's Miraculous Fish Tank, which has 50 slots. This fish tank will act just like the Shim Chiang's Miraculous Fish Tank, holding 50 slots, and can be traded between any of your tunes. This can't be listed up on the central market, but with this fish tank comes a cool little nifty feature. They now allow us to combine the Creo's Miraculous Fish Tank with the Shim Chiang's Miraculous Fish Tank to make the new 100 slot fish tank. Now getting one of these fish tanks is rather simple. First have to have the original fish tank which can be obtained by doing a four part quest over in the sea palace. You can start this by opening up your quest log, scrolling down the Shim Chiang's Miraculous Fish Tank, and completing Dio's quests. You will have to have Master Fishing 1 to be able to turn in the quest to be able to take the fish tank. So keep that in mind before trying to set out for this quest. This should be easy and a quick thing to do, or you can just head over to the Sea Palace and accept his quest in person. The new Creos fish tank does require you to purchase it from the Pearl Shop. This purchase is a one-time purchase, and as you can see, it does the exact same features as the Shim Chiang's fish tank. So if you don't want to spend the money on this fish tank, you still have an alternative free method. But for those looking to make that 100 slot fish tank, after you bought this, this can be done by using manufacturing. No fish can be in the fish tank when you put the fish tank into manufacturing. And this is as simple as combining both Shim Chiang's and Rio's fish tank. Once combined, you'll have the new 100 slot fish tank. This fish tank is perfect for those looking to AFK fish out in Margoria, Aquila's Eye, or the Ross Sea. Even doing event fishing with this fish tank able to store 100 fish and extend the duration up to 5 days before the fish have a lower value. To get the most back, I do suggest wearing the triple float rod, any gear that will increase your mastery up to at least 2k to get more prized fish back, or at least to 1200 mastery if you're looking to do some harpoon fishing. Mastery crystals are great for increasing your mastery, or you can do experience. And lastly, your artifacts will help out with increasing either your big fish or your rare fish. One thing to keep in mind when fishing is your fishing chair. If you're doing active or harpoon fishing, I highly suggest using only the green chair. Or if you're doing only AFK fishing, I suggest using the blue grade Creos fishing chair. The blue grade will decrease your AFK fish time, whereas the green grade will only supply the mastery. Now when it comes to durability, there's a couple methods for this. When using the Balanos rod, the Medea rod, or the Calpheon rod, those can be branded using any of the weapon brand stones, which can be bought in the pearl shop or can be given out during certain events, and durability pets. Now as for the triple float rod, our only other option is going to be with our pets. They removed our durability crystals now, leaving us with our pets, so if you don't mind sacrificing the experience, you can have more durability. This applies to all of your gear and all of your tools. And I want to say this also applies to your chair too. As for buffs, I only suggest either using the Seafood Kron's Meal for the added experience or mastery, or if you're trying to do the AFK fishing and you still have not hit your auto fish time, the Marvelous Balix Lunchbox. You could use your Secret Book of Florin or the Gia Van Grolin Scroll for the added mastery, but these will only last one hour. So try to maximize how long your buffs will be up with how much money you're wasting spending on it, and you should be fine. As for fishing, there are a couple places that I recommend, such as North Margoria, Middle Margoria, or even South Margoria. Any of the Margoria fish tables have pretty decent valued fish that will make you a lot of money when AFK fishing throughout the night. If you're too afraid, you have places like the Ross Sea and Aqualus Eye. These places are in safe zones, allowing you to do your AFK fishing and still get some good valued fish. For those who like to AFK for a lot longer, you have the event fishing areas. These areas are great for having some reds, the plump coelacanth, and any of the other fish that you're choosing to fish for. As for the money-making aspect, this can be done in two different ways. 
if you guys are using only the 50 slot fish tank i highly recommend only sorting the yellow grade fish this will maximize how much money you can get and only keep the yellows and the red grade fish that you do catch out in whichever region but if you guys are using the 100 slot fish tank you can sort it by the blues all the way up to the reds this will allow more money with the blues and you won't have to sacrifice too many of those yellow slots or red slots for the blues think of it as an extra set of 50 blue fish that you can have on the side of those 50 yellow grade fish if you're lucky enough as for selling the fish, there are a couple options that we have here. The first option is going to be with our normal trading. Our normal trading can be done in any major town that has a trade manager, but the furthest places from Morgoria is going to be either Valencia City or Rana. Those trying to do the Imperial fishing, there is only one option when fishing out here in Margoria, that being Velia. This will give you a nice amount of the Imperial seals needed for either getting those Manos made, those golden keys, or any of these four top rows will still make you some type of money if you guys are trying to go out and get those golden seals. The last final way to get the most from that fish tank is with the experience. Coming out anywhere in Margoria or the Raw Sea has a higher fish bite chance, allowing for more fish to be caught. If you do choose to fish out in Margoria, there is a quick and easy route you can take to trade in all of your fish without having to spend hours in traveling. But if you are coming out here, make sure you have either a blue grade compass or yellow grade compass to be able to see through the fog out Margoria. And you should try to avoid any of the sea monsters so that they don't destroy your boat. You can't exactly fish if you don't have a boat. One final thing about fishing out Margoria is the fact that you can teleport with a full fish tank without having to worry about it being registered as a trade item. This allows you to go from one continent to another without having to worry about anything and maximize how much money you can make while out there trading. If choosing the raw sea, you do have Port Aferia that you can trade in your fish making it a lot easier. If you're like me and you enjoy your hotspot fishing, having the 100 slot fish tank is a must especially when coming out and using your triple float rod. Just be warned, the price of the fish here won't be as valuable as out in Margoria with the distance and just the overall value of the fish not being higher. But if you're looking for the most money and experience that you can possibly get, I highly recommend either fishing out here in Margoria, north, middle, south, or choosing any of the event areas. Just make sure you sort your fish by white so that you don't get rid of any of the green, blue, or yellow grade fish and you can turn them all in for the experience and extra money. And if you guys are still looking to make your gear, where to fish, or anything fishing related, I highly recommend checking out my description below. I have everything you will need to get started with your fishing and start making a lot more money than you usually do. And there you have it. I'm not really sure how I should feel about the whole new fish tank. The fact that we have been clamoring for a new fishing update, yet we have only now been given another fish tank that we have to buy it's kind of stupid when we have been asking for more updates and things like that but yet we still have to pay for things while pvp and pve all get the updates and the care and attention that everyone has been begging for and doom posting about life skilling is still in a bad state at least we got a fish tank and with the new well coming to aqua's eye this will make trying to do your afk fishing in a different area other than Velia Beach a lot easier. Let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below. I don't really know how to feel about it. I personally, I got mine because I got mentioned in the BDO monthly. So if you guys do want to try to get some free pearls, I highly recommend making some type of content, posting it up on the forums. You might get mentioned and it's a free 2k pearls, but after buying it, I'm going to go ahead AFK for a whole night, see how it goes, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it after all is said and done. But with all of that out of the way, I will see you guys in the next one. Keep gathering out there, everyone.